as always, uh, please subscribe, like, comment. I'm going to try to keep doing these videos for everybody. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll have a better shot um, of all of the parts that I used from hose and fitting, etc. I'm sure you'd get them online if you don't have one locally to you. Welcome back to another episode of SR Chronicles. Um, we got our onboard air compressor mounted. Um, as of right now, I have my air chuck coming out right here on my manifold, but what I wanna do is make it so I don't have to pop my hood to uh, air back up my tires. So I just went down to the local uh, air and fitting store and uh, air hose and fitting store. And I'm gonna be routing um, an air hose out and putting an air chuck in my bumper. And I'll show you the parts that I got and what you will need to do it. So here are all the parts that I got. Um, I'm gonna just leave this here. I'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see and you can take the part numbers and get what you need. But essentially it's just push lock quarter inch hose barbs a street 90 here to a quarter inch push lock. Um, the bulkhead is gonna go through my bumper and then connect here. And then I have, you know, this nut will compress in my bumper and then that'll go on there. And then five feet, your, your length's gonna change depending on where you wanna route it. I'm gonna route mine into my bumper. Tools you're gonna need, um, you're just gonna need some of this here, where is it at? You're gonna need some of this here, pipe thread sealant for all of your uh, national pipe thread um, fittings. You're gonna need a 7 16 or at least this bulk spec is 7 16 drill bit. And then you're also gonna need just standard wrenches. And uh, all right, let's get started. So I used a little bit of that thread locker on there. You can always just wipe the excess off with a rag when you're done. I'm just getting my hose kind of routed to make sure I got enough hose to go where I want to go. And now I'm just going to drill the hole in the bumper and mount the bulkhead. So I worked my way up from quarter inch to three eighths to seven sixteenths. Um, got my bulkhead in there. I'm gonna use a lock washer on the bottom just to be safe. And then I'm gonna cut my um, air hose to length and push my fitting on. I'll show you that next. So I got my air hose routed. I'm gonna be putting in my uh, I think this is a compression style fitting. Anyway, it doesn't require any of the pipe sealant. Any fitting like that requires nothing. So don't put any of the thread sealant on it. Um, make sure you get your hose to length and then push your, uh, push your fitting on because it takes some muscle. So do it where you're comfortable doing it. And then I'm gonna connect this and then we'll put our uh, air chuck on. So I got my fitting on. I'm gonna put a little bit of the thread sealant on here, twist this guy on, and then just zip tie everything back. Um, especially up here, if you're gonna route yours anything like mine does, this air compressor gets super hot, so just make sure you put something around it or keep it out of the way of, you know, the compressor here. All right, there it is all hooked up. I zip tied everything out of the way and uh, wipe down all the extra thread sealant and made sure I didn't have any leaks. And this can be used for anything. It doesn't have to be a ARB compressor. You can have a compressor on your RV or anything. And then the last thing you wanna do is just take like an old glove or something and cut the finger off of it to slip over here when it's not in use to keep the uh, dust and dirt out of there when you're going off road. All right, everybody have a good day. Cut the middle finger right off of a glove, put that on there. Now you're safe from all the elements. Here are the parts list one more time. And this is the hose that I used. Um, five feet of hose is all I had to use, but you might need more. But there they are for you. And uh, 
Harry's Hose and Fittings website, phone number, all that good stuff. Everything cost me around $60, so, all right.